I've taken the host control, but I don't know what button to press. <laughs> <laughs> Toby's saying they can hear us, but not yeah. see anything. What if we go into the... Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Um, now, do we actually have... Oh, we've got people who are actually watching. There we go. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We can hear you, but you can't see us. Can you see? Are we are we going to beat Hobart? <laughs> Good now. Okay. So for our many thousands of viewers, um, welcome. This is <laughs> the <laughs> Drupal South committee meeting. Uh, and Akil, uh, I can see that you're asking whether you should add everyone. Um, yes, please go ahead. You can add Jana and Dave uh, and Chris and Pam. And Sahal is listening in, so he can be on screen if he wants. I'm not sure if we can all be on screen at the same time, <clears throat> but we'll cycle through. <clears throat> so, um, Akil, if you can... Oh, there we go. Ah, nice. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming we have at least two public viewers. We've got Griffin and Toby in the chat there. Um, so for their benefit, we'll run it as if we have a full audience. Um, so I'm Owen Lansbury, um, and we've had our Drupal South steering committee running for just over oh, about a year and a half now, so since July last year. Um, and just as... By way of introduction, uh, the committee itself oversees how these events are run, but we don't run them ourselves. So uh, in the past, we had a situation where every event was managed ad hoc, uh, but um, these days we've now got a steering committee that oversees each event as it's being run so that we've got continuity in terms of knowledge sharing, tool sets, et cetera, et cetera. So that, that's been our main remit. Um, we had a small hiccup in 2020 that um, delayed how we we're going to run things, uh, but it looks like we're starting to get back on track with this as our first full event being run under the steering committee. Um, now, we are pressed for time. We've only got 16 minutes left. All of these sessions seem to run very quickly, so I'm not going to take up too much time. The first thing that I did want to do was just to note that uh, we had planned to have a, a committee election uh, and the results of that election would have been announced today. Um, there was another election that's being held yesterday and today that's um, got a little bit more press. But uh, in our case, we uh, we only had one person self-nominate, and that's Sahal that's sitting on the on the call as well. Uh, and because we had a, a committee charter, we reverted to that, and under the charter, we had the option to invite people to join the committee. Um, without going through an election process if we didn't have enough people standing for nomination. Um, so through that process, uh, we reached out to Jana and Dave, um, so Dave Sparks, and uh, both of them had self-nominated for the first round back in uh, 2018 or 2019 anyway. So um, we'd like to welcome them. Uh, we'd like to formally invite them to join the committee, actually. Uh, and uh, in terms of community feedback, we have had a period of um, announcing that we'd go through this process and for anyone to raise objections, there's been no objections raised so far. So um, if none have been raised by the end of today, then we'll formally um, move Jana and Dave into into the committee um, and they'll be taking over seats from both Pamela and Tom who've been on the committee since its formation. Um, so we don't actually have Dave with us. I know he was catching a plane from Auckland to uh, Wellington today. That probably meant he was delayed. Um, he, he's around. He's in the chat. He's just, um, someone just needs to add him to the panel. So we're just um, organizing that in the background. That's great. So um, Janet, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jenna. I'm from Brisbane. Um, I'm fairly new, but 
quite involved because I'm sort of married to Drupal. So uh, just continue on uh, with Drupal work and um, hoping to bring more uh, to next Drupal South events and um, Drupal in Australia. So yeah, that's me. And just for people's interest who might be watching, um, you were one of the co-organizers of Drupal South in 2016. Um, and you've also helped organize Drupal Camp Byron Bay. And are you involved with the Drupal meetup in Brisbane as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I always pretty much go there and we sponsor pizzas um, uh, whenever we'll reconvene again the face-to-face uh, -face meetups and uh, present on uh, Drupal meetups whatever I have something to talk about. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Um, now, it looks like Dave hasn't been able to get onto that call yet, so we might continue. We'll, we'll come back to, to Dave. Um, in the meantime, Sahal, uh, we've invited you to um, observe this meeting, and you've got a, a couple of other meetings that you might want to join uh, in coming weeks. Um, but you did self-nominate both for the first round of elections and for this round. Um, Chris Skeen and I have had a separate chat to you about your interest in being invited to join the board, uh, to in, join the committee. Um, so in the event that you do, just for the sake of the recording, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, sure. Thanks. Thanks. Um, Owen. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Sol. Nice to meet all of you. I have been working in Drupal maybe six or seven years. I more around the sort of administration and project management side of, of building Drupal. Um, and yeah, just hoping I can add some value and contribute to the community um, in whatever way and part. Um, if I, you know, if I do uh, end up joining and, and taking up uh, a seat. So thanks very much for having me here today. And it's nice to meet all of you. <laughs> Great. Um, and because Dave hasn't been able to log on, um, I'll just give a, a brief overview of his background. So he runs Sparks Interactive in Auckland. Uh, I think they do projects all over New Zealand and very long time Drupal users and promoters in the New Zealand community. And Dave was a, a um, co-organizer of Drupal South Auckland in 2017 uh, and has been very involved in the community since then as well. So um, if he does, does get a chance to jump on, he can tell us a bit more about him uh, if that occurs. So um, just in terms of the committee makeup, going forward. Uh, so like I mentioned, Pam and Tom will be rolling off in November. Jana and Dave will be joining. So a big thank you to Tom and Pam for your involvement over the past year. It's been critical in terms of getting the committee off the ground. Um, and then Sahal is likely to take over Chris's seat, which will renew um, before May 2021. And we've got these staggered terms so that we have continuity on the committee as well. Um, just in terms of knowledge sharing, handover uh, as, as we go through. Um, Nicole, who's from Amazi, uh, and myself will retain our seats uh, for another two year term. And uh, in terms of roles, our roles on the, the committee may change through that period as well. So currently I've been chairing the committee and Nicole's been acting as treasurer. Um, as we get new members, we might discuss some changes to that um, so that by the time we go through another refresh in 2022, um, there'll be more continuity there uh, in case we roll off as well. So uh, as we talk through other things that we've been doing, I wanted to hand over to some other people uh, and we've got 10 minutes left, so we'll just talk quickly. <laughs> so Pam, if you can just give us a summary of what's been happening with Drupal South Wellington and what might happen in terms of events for for next year? Um, so obviously we couldn't uh, have the event this coming March because currently we can't actually go to New Zealand. Um, but what we ended up doing was just pushing it back by a year. So in our contract, we had established a 12 month window where we could delay the event given the situation. Um, so what we've decided to do is host 
the event in mid-March of 2022 in person, at which point I think we can all um, agree that uh, we should be able to travel and um, be within 1.5 meters of each other and not have to use hand sanitizer every time we enter a room. Um, so we're looking forward to that. And then in the meantime, the folks in Wellington have expressed some interest in potentially organizing a virtual event next year. Um, whether that's at the same time as it would have been in March or not is, is still up in the air. And I think um, we were sort of thinking we would see how this went and then um, make a determination, but I think it's going okay so far. So um, yeah, I'm rolling off anyway, so I'll be handing over to one of these other lovely people in this um, role, but yeah, so so looking forward to 2022 and um, another virtual event in 2021. Thanks, Pam. And uh, just in terms of a virtual event in 2021, uh, so when the new members come onto the committee, we'll start discussing our options around that. We've already got a range of ideas that we might be able to start activating. Uh, and if we do decide to go ahead with another virtual event, we'll then do a call out for a event team to, to manage that. Um, so again, just reiterating the steering committee doesn't actually manage events themselves. We just facilitate uh, the event teams for them. Uh, and on that note, Tom, um, do you want to just give us an overview of one of our big initiatives in 2021 was getting some working groups off the ground? Yeah, yeah. So from, um, I guess, catch up in Hobart, um, we've, we've put together a couple of working groups. Um, the first one being the Career Pathways, which I guess is the initiative faced, uh, to look at how we can increase um, you know, resourcing levels and um, getting people more into the tutorial community. So finding ways that they can, you know, internships, um, various ways that um, we can uh, promote and improve the resource capabilities in the region. Um, the other major working group uh, we, we put together uh, earlier this year was uh, around the government. Um, and that's been, um, that's, that's sort of just slowly getting into, into the groove. I think there's been a couple of meetings, but they, the main goal of that is really about collaboration between different levels of governments and potentially even um, different nations as well uh, around how they can contribute to Drupal. Fantastic. And I think um, one thing worth mentioning is now that we have run Drupal Gov uh, this year, we will have some funds available to direct into specific initiatives. Uh, so we've been waiting to have certainty around what our retained profits might be from this event before we actually commit to, to spending any money. Um, and there's a range of ideas that have already come out of those working groups. So things like running um, just quickly, it's uh, decision maker to work summits. With Dave. Obviously, they might need to be virtual um, in but it's the not, short term. It's not working, um, sorry. Doing things like um, uh, booths at career days at universities. Again, all of that's still virtual. So it's a case of us assessing what's going to be most effective in, in terms of directing where those funds go. Uh, and again, that'll be decisions that are overseen by the new committee members coming on board. Um, now, a lot of the work we've done in the past year has been around consolidating the tools that we use and the um, technical infrastructure that we have to use. Um, Chris Skeen has been instrumental in setting up all of that and putting most of the charges on his personal credit card. So Chris, do you want to just talk about what we've done in terms of knowledge sharing, shared tools, types of things? Sure. So I think this was really just about establishing um, some infrastructure for, for the committee and event teams going forward so that they had shared resources they can use. So it's pretty basic. We have um, uh, we have like a email system set up using Google uh, Google Apps or whatever the hell it's called now. We have the, uh, the website there. Um, we have shared documentation. Um, it's, it's not a huge thing, but um, it's, it's a big continuity. Uh, plus for teams as they come in every year to get like a handbook and a budget and just have everything they need to get started with an event. So I think that's pretty good. Um, and that'll be continued to be supported uh, by Annex Digital um, going forward. Great. And one of the things worth mentioning around that is um, our code of conduct uh, for events. So that's obviously been something that we've adopted through all of our events in, in recent years. Um, both Pam and Tom have notionally served as um, our Code of Conduct officers through that period, uh, even though we haven't actually had any events since last year. 
But um, Pam, you actually undertook a code of conduct training course that was facilitated through the Drupal Association. Um, and do you want to just briefly talk about that? Or not? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't really prepared for that. Um, That's okay. There are, That's all right. there's a section in the handbook about, um, about how to handle these things. And that was something we already had, but that I updated after that session. So all of that, um, all of that information is captured in the handbook. Yeah. I think that's the point I wanted to make is that you went off and did the course and then the knowledge that you gained from that is now being shared through those resources. Um, we are coming up close to time. Nicole, do you want to just quickly talk about the strategic objectives that we didn't get to do because of COVID, but might still be on the table. Yes. Um, so we obviously came up with some initiatives um, that we would like to achieve um, last year, but then COVID um, obviously made a bit of a um, hold on that. Um, so what we had on our um, list, and it's in no priority order, um, is that obviously to ensure the continuity of um, Drupal South annual conferences, but also um, it's obviously very important for us um, to feed those profits back into the Drupal community. Um, and then also to provide the Drupal meetups and smaller groups or community, community training and sprints with financial and operational support. Um, and then we talked about annual sponsorship packages um, for multiple Drupal South activities. And also um, what's um, been sort of quite high on our list was to drive regional marketing um, initiatives. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, um, we weren't able to implement any of that, but I think it'll definitely be on our roadmap going forward. Um, and we'd also, we also wanted to engage with the Asia Pacific community um, organizers a bit more and, and see if we can drive regional initiatives there as well. Um, you're on mute, oh, Owen. Oh, he's just joined as well. So got a bit of it. Um, yeah, so one of the issues that we had with DrupalCon virtual in the US is the time zone is just impossible for, for us to really participate effectively. Um, so we've only got about a minute to go. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to post them in the discussion forum. I also just wanted to note that um, we have a, a monthly committee meeting that anyone's more than happy, uh, more than welcome to join as an observer. Um, so feel free to just reach out to us if you do want to join any of those calls that we have. I think it's the first Tuesday of every month that we do that. Uh, and then you can obviously reach out to us through um, email or on Slack at any time if you've got ideas um, or things that you want to see funded um, through Drupal South. Um, Dave, we've got a few seconds left. Do you want to jump on and introduce yourself? <laughs> uh, hi, I think I'm, no, I'm not muted, no. Cool, hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know quite a few of you, have a Drupal agency, been doing Drupal for a while. Be interested to see what's happening with the committee. Um, and I guess my area of interest is Kind of advocating for New Zealand um, and the, the smaller indie agencies. Fantastic. All right, well, we're just on time now. Um, thank you for everyone that did jump in. And uh, like I said, feel free to connect with us um, if, if you do have any ideas that you want to see us facilitate. Cool. And enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.